from Macedonia was nothing like what I expected from it. It was like a totally different world. Um, and I think it's a very, it has its own unique character very much. And also what struck me was that autumn is really here, although it's warmer. But the colors, there are a lot of these orange, brown, yellow colors in nature. Yeah. Lovely landscapes and very, very kind people. They're also very calm, even in traffic. Maybe that's my own expression, impression that I was quite surprised by that. Not, not, yeah. The temperament is very um, easygoing. That's <laughs> that feeling. Yeah. Oh, I have no expectations. Everything is already fine as it is right now. So um, uh, it would be ungrateful to expect even more than this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is a bit of a double feeling I have because uh, on one hand you want your book to travel. Um, it is you have told the story quite a while ago and it's quite fascinating to know the people with another background who read about it. On the other hand you have to surrender to a translator so you never know really how your words that you meant the way you meant them and the way you meant your phrases, whether that will come across in a translation or will come across the way you wanted it in the original. So it's, it's, it's a mixture between fascination and the feeling that you have to surrender a bit. Yeah. Maybe I'm too much of a control freak, but that is very well possible. Yeah. I haven't met all my translators yet. Uh, I've met I have a good contact with my German translators and my English translator, but uh, it doesn't happen that often that you have contact with your translators. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yes, maybe by email or something. Uh, and of course, if it's a language which, uh, which you don't master yourself, then you can't... Um, well, then it is not much... Not of, then it doesn't have a lot of sense to actually... Um, try to interfere with the translation because of course I don't master Macedonian. But in the case of English and German, of course I could I could proofread it. Uh, I think a writer shouldn't have any opinion about that whatsoever. <laughs> I have a, I have an opinion of, of what I'm writing and uh, I'm trying to um, I think that the, these kind of things are really that is something for the publishers to have an opinion about. I'm doing my thing, what I'm good at, and it, well, I hope. <laughs> well, that's even further. I don't think in gender. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I happen to, to have this gender, but uh, no, it's not something that I uh, live with very much. I mean, my novels, they, the, the protagonists of my novels, they, they, they have been. Um, with the exception of this book, they have been male. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't really care much about it. I think, I think it, it, it would be of any importance that a writer should be able to, to write uh, from the perspective of uh, the opposite sex, always. Mm. But when it comes to the position of female women's rights or women writing, no, I have no opinion on that. <laughs> Sorry. Any price is, it will enlarge your public and your audience, it will enlarge your audience, um, especially when it's an international orientated price. And uh, the AUPL price, that of course has facilitated uh, a lot of translations, so you will travel, and traveling is always good for inspiration, and uh, especially when you travel this way and not like some tourists, um, that is good. The Echo Literary Prize yeah, is the most prestigious prize in the Netherlands and that was, um, it was a bit of a shock, it came a shock because it came very early in my career. Um, I'm grateful for it because it has significantly uh, enlarged my audience. But it also brings a lot of side effects like a lot of publicity and you have to like that. I'm not really the kind of person that's very good at it. So. Um, it, it has a, a slight influence on your daily life and then it's very important that you are able to switch that off when you uh, start writing a new work. 
because I think if you're too conscious of your public when you write, that will influence your writing in a negative way. And publicity means that you're conscious of your public, that you that you're conscious of your of your audience, of your readers. And I don't think an artist should ever be that too much. No. To be independent, to to guard your independence, see and your autonomy, which is difficult in this time because we're so much influenced all the time. There are so many voices. It's very difficult to isolate yourself from that and to find your own path. And um, hypes and fashion and influences that is, that is on the... Yeah, it, it has a lot of effect. And I think it, for any artist it should be very important. I don't think in categories of writers or visual artists as, as something different or musicians. I think it's very important that you don't let yourself to be influenced too much by opinions. Um, yeah. So that, that, that is something for me that I always strive to do, and it's difficult. It's, it's maybe it's also something that is actually quite impossible, because you will always be uh, influenced in some way. Um, but uh, yeah, try to be as autonomous as you can. Yeah.